Hello ladies, welcome back to my channel. I am Sadaf and in today's video I will be speaking about emotional intelligence, how to be emotionally intelligent as a smart woman. You may have heard that emotional intelligence is even more important than your IQ in order to be successful, in order to get a promotion and in general in life to be used in your daily life. So that is very important and in fact the people who are emotionally intelligent tend to have a higher level of happiness, better relationships. Overall a higher satisfaction with their life. So I will be giving you six tips that you can use in order to become more emotionally aware and intelligent. And if you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. I am Sadaf and I make videos every Monday and Thursday on confidence, mental strength, productivity and everything about excelling for women who are in their 30s, 40s and above. So subscribe to my channel and let's get into the topic. The number one tip is to get validation from yourself. It's very normal that growing up we have been seeking validation from other people whether they were our parents whether they were our siblings or uh, teachers and <clears throat> other people later on but as an adult it's very important to have your own validation so that you can finally make your decisions without seeking that validation from other people and that you are more satisfied with what you are doing and you are doing it entirely for yourself however it's not easy to get to that from the state of seeking validation entirely to the state of having that validation from within and in order to do that you will need some self-awareness a good level of self-awareness which means knowing what your emotions are what you are feeling how you are feeling in a certain situation how you are feeling with with certain people and uh, how you can change that how you can improve that so when you are developing your self-awareness it's very important to learn about the emotions that you have but at the same time also learn what are the emotions that I would like to develop what are the kind of feelings that I would like to have so that you have a good awareness of yourself of the person that you are and of what in general you are seeking in life so instead of trying to please other people where you are constantly trying to seek their validation and people please and do all the different things for others this is the time for you to build your relationship with yourself to nurture it to make it so central and so good for yourself that you feel like that voice that you are looking for from someone else is actually a voice that is coming from within so be deeply focused on your own self be highly aware of what's going on in your mind in your heart in your body even and lastly get rid of all your fears because we can have many fears like the fear of rejection the fear of abandonment the fear of a heartbreak which can come as much from a failure than actually from being from having had a breakup even though these fears are normal and they are part of life it's very important at a certain stage to finally get rid of those fears and let them go and this is not a one-time work you will have to do constantly over and over again when you do that work on an ongoing basis you feel how good it it feels to actually be so full of yourself that you are constantly getting rid of every single thing that is is affecting you or making you feel low so to sum it up get rid of all your fears and have a very good relationship with yourself so that you can stop seeking validation from other people and you can yourself validate every single thing and every single decision that you are making the second tip is to not take things personally so don't take things personally because most of the time what people say tells a lot more about who they are than it does tell about who you actually are we hardly ever know the context a person is coming from or the background story of a person and we uh, it's it's a very human thing to actually judge a person either through their clothes or the way a person has talked or the way a person has done a certain thing like I said it's human but that does not mean that it's the reality there is this one thing that I heard a few years back and that really sticked to my mind and since then I have always kept it in my mind it says that the definition of people is going to change all the time depending on the kind of interaction that you had with them depending on the kind of experience that they have had with you but your definition of yourself should never change that is something that you should always keep in your mind that even though other people are saying something about you what do I think of myself what were my intentions when I was doing that thing or when I was behaving in a certain way so I feel that in order to keep your sanity 
the best way of taking criticism is to think about it this way always that whatever definition the other people are giving to me is just their definition of me but i only accept the definition i am giving to myself and that i know best what i'm doing if you are not proud of your actions or whatever you have done even in that situation just keep in your mind what is the definition that i want to give myself and own that and become that instead of feeling bad about what you have done until now like in a previous video i said that we all make mistakes and you just have to overcome that feeling that you got from that mistake and learn the lesson and move forward it's completely okay if you have done things that you are not proud of but despite that only accept the definition that you are giving to yourself number three tip is to take your time before responding very often sometimes we have a tendency to respond immediately simply because that triggered us that that brought to life some other emotions that we have within ourselves and it is not a healthy way to tackle any situation it's more important in that moment just to take a deep breath take some time and go back to the situation afterwards now you can't do that if a person is directly talking to you maybe you can't allow yourself to do that at all times because the other person is waiting for a certain response from you but even in those situations if you can just tell that person that i need some time and i will come back to you and we can take it from there at that time so it is best not to act under the rush of emotions and respond at a later time when you have had the time to cool down and and feel better about the situation number four ask for someone else's perspective your own opinion or reaction and perspective is actually biased by the kind of experience that you have had whether with that person whether in that situation or whatever else it is so in order to get a very neutral and right response it's best to contact a person who is completely unrelated to the situation so not your best friend or not someone who is going to take your side and not even give you an honest opinion of the situation but if you have a friend who can give you their honest perspective of the situation or it can be someone else like a professional or a, a therapist or a coach or or even a confidant someone else that you actually confide in and you can get the kind of uh, help and support that you are you need in that moment another idea that is that is very well and that i have seen many people doing is to ask that question in a facebook group which means that if there is something that is bothering you you can even go to a facebook group and ask your question anonymously even or even sometimes referring a friend like you are asking this question for a friend and ask your question in order to get honest opinion from other people who you are going to get plenty of different opinions and it's a good thing to uh, have of all the different ideas and then finally decide what you are going to do with that situation number five focus on empathy and here i would first of all say that be empathic with yourself first before being empathic with other people so even though i will ask you later on to understand the other person's situation i would like to first of all insist on the fact that if you are feeling hurt then it means that it has hurt you cannot deny that do not deny your feeling do not say that i can take it it is possible for me by denying such pain you are actually saying no to yourself and that you should never do and emotionally intelligent people never do that to themselves it's very important to take into consideration whatever you have been feeling about a situation to accept that to validate that and to validate that i am hurt and once you have validated that do something to process those emotions to to deal with them i have made plenty of videos on how to process your emotions emotions so go ahead and process your emotions first and once you have dealt with your own emotions the second step is to know that whatever people do to you it always comes from a place of ignorance but no matter what the background of that person or of that situation is what you should know is that you cannot teach them you cannot stop them and you cannot change them but the only thing that you are capable of doing is to stop getting affected by what other people are saying to you it's not easy in the beginning it is difficult because we are normal human beings and we do not shut off like that to other people you are in the midst of an experience or a situation you can't say that i'm not going to feel all that they are saying to me or, or all that that's happening to me you are going to feel that but only let in 
inside you the things that you think are best for you so if that is something that is not supporting you if these are feelings that are not helping you become a better person and instead they are making you feel bad and toxic and bitter in that case stop that immediately and don't allow that to get into yourself and be empathic in a sense that these people whatever they are saying they are saying that from a place of ignorance because if you start to hate them or you start to dislike them it is going to start taking a lot of place inside you and that's definitely not the purpose you want to stay as clean and as healthy as possible the number six tip is to be detached from the outcome so sometimes even though you have done every single thing that was possible for you to make it a better situation to make it a better experience for yourself and for others despite that it is possible that you may not get the kind of result that you wanted if that happens do not question your own intelligence or your own smartness or your own ability to deal with the situation do not question that accept that the way it is that is something that just did not happen and you are going to let it go maybe learn if there is something to learn but do not ever question your own ability to deal with that situation because the more you are going to start questioning yourself the more it will become difficult for you to overcome all these hurdles that you are putting in front of you so if it didn't go as planned forgive yourself in order to forgive yourself you can watch my last video how to forgive yourself and that gives you a very nice exercise that you can do in order to forgive yourself for your mistakes just learn your lesson and keep going on that's how you are going to be able to learn and build upon all those lessons that you are learning so that is it for this video i hope that it was helpful to you and if it did help you then please like this video and subscribe to my channel and i will see you hopefully in my next video take care bye